In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a rational equation that simplifies to quadratic proportional form basic. We're asked to solve this equation for x and told that we may have one solution, more than one solution, or possibly even no solution. So when we get to the final steps and we have potential solutions, we'll talk about how to go back and check to make sure that those potential solutions are actual solutions. And in this example, I want to have a process that I can use in multiple situations, and I want to remove these fractions to make it easier to solve. And the way that we do that is to identify the lowest common denominator between our two denominators here. Our lowest common denominator would have to have a 5x minus 18 term and an x term. And with that lowest common denominator, I know that I can cancel out all of the denominators if I multiply both the left of the equation by the lowest common denominator as well as the right. So I'm multiplying both sides by the lowest common denominator. And the effect is that cancels the denominators on the left leaving me with x squared, and on the right, the denominator also cancels, leaving me with 3 times 5x minus 18. And so we're already in a position where this is much easier to solve, no fractions. We can distribute to get rid of the parentheses on the right-hand side, 3 times 5x, a 15x, 3 times negative 18, a negative 54, and then to solve our quadratic, since we have an x squared term, I'll need to set one of these sides equal to zero. And again, the easiest thing is to move these items on the right-hand side over to the left-hand side. So subtracting a 15x from both sides and adding a 54 to both sides leaves me with a zero on the right-hand side and the quadratic x squared minus the 15x plus 54 on the left. To solve from here, I would need to factor this quadratic. We can use trial and error. Since there's an x squared, it must be x and x. The 54 means our choices are 1 and 54, 2 and 27, 3 and 18, 6 and 9, and since I want to get a negative 15x in the center, I can use a negative 6 and a negative 9. So x minus 6, x minus 9 is our factored quadratic. And since we have two terms multiplying to be 0, either the first must be 0 or the second must be 0. And from here, we can solve each one for the variable x and have x equals 6, or solving for x, x equals 9, we have two potential solutions. We always want to look back at our denominators to see if either of these potential solutions gives us a zero denominator. And for both of these, if I plug in 6 or if I plug in 9, I do not get a zero denominator. So these are both valid solutions. Separating with a comma, we have 6 and 9 as our solution set. 